this is our friend Kurt Yeager, and today he is gonna be taking us on a motorcycle ride. Except he only has one leg. Um, so how are we gonna be doing this? Let me show you. Wait. We're at Empowered Prosthetics and Orthotics. Just making sure that my leg is right, so which parts are tight. Oh, this, this leg. leg, see? Wait, hold up, hold yeah. up. I have a question about yeah. this. So a lot of people are gonna say, isn't this just how you ride a, a motorcycle? You just have an extra leg and everything works? No, no, because see, you don't have an ankle. So nothing down here works, like it doesn't shift or anything else. And God. like these bolts here come loose. Brian, you are the prosthetist. I am. Who deals with limb prosthetics. So nothing internal, but all arms, legs. So he makes God. motorcycling possible. The outer sleeve, is again that's what holds it on. Is it possible to yeah, see yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, we're trying to mimic the natural foot and ankle. What do you actually feel in your leg? Like well this is you know there's like phantom feelings right like so I feel like my toes are there like I'm wiggling my toes right now. Do you get used to it or is it always like you like you're always thinking about like I can feel my leg right now? It's um chronic pain. Then sometimes it gets a lot worse. Bone. Feel that. Yeah, it, feel looks, that. it looks like like a, it's just bone. And not to break his stuff but the cool thing you can film this right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can kick anything as hard as I want, and I can't feel it. It's the Terminator. <laughs> it's the Terminator right there. As an able-bodied person, you feel like, oh yeah, I know everything about my life, but then like, there's so many different layers to other people's lives that like, we don't even take into consideration. So Kurt, where are we going to next? Uh, we're gonna go to the gym and show you guys some uh, exercise that maybe you could ride motorcycles better than what you guys look like. Yeah, I think, I think so. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in and see if we can film in a gym that we've never been to in our entire lives. He's exploiting the system. <laughs> I'm a below the knee amputee, and we wanted to like show a video of like me doing a couple different workouts on equipment. So you guys just go upstairs. Uh, totally worked. Like a lot of I am so shocked that that worked. That was awesome. The downside, but also the perks of being an amputee. But a lot of people think that an amputee can't do this. So is it easier or harder for you? It is harder for me. I don't have any tendons or muscles going from my knee to my ankle, so there's nothing there. Hey, I personally don't ever do leg day, ever. Yeah. Don't look at, don't be like that. <laughs> what, what is a respectful way to maybe ask you about your leg and your backstory? Be the friend first. I'm not defined by my disability. I'm defined by my personality and my character. Is there a max amount of weight your leg can withstand? There is a maximum load because I've broken the feet. Could yeah, you just it? try it out? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. This is never doing leg day. That's mine. You shut up. That's my <laughs> calf. Yours looks <laughs> way better than mine. Okay. Ooh. That's brisk. He's done. Oh, good. That's that's my leg workout for the, the, the year. All right, so we're done with the gym. I want to take you guys to learn some real basic skills on a bike. Let's go. We're, right, we're riding the bike. Let's go. This we're is going. it. This we're is riding it. the bike. We, we've, we've passed. Oh. <laughs> it's a bike. Bike. I know it's a bike. I, that's not the bike I thought we were going to be riding. Why are we tr riding this first? You want to start learning two-wheel skills on a bicycle. This is a lot easier way to learn some basic skills. It, it's, a, it's a bicycle. You know, I wanted to like see how much more balance you have. One way to do that is to put the front wheel up against like a curb. Whether you do one leg, put the other leg on. Can you do that? I, uh, yes. <laughs> he makes it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah right, I got it. Oh, oh, wait, not. <laughs> Stop. Wait. Stop. Who are you? Okay, so I think Kurt has a history of riding bikes. Okay, so yeah. how did you lose your leg? I actually lost my leg in a motorcycle accident. I hit a guardrail and a pole and fell off a 40 foot cliff. I tore my pelvis in half, tore my bladder in half, broke seven vertebrae, collapsed my lungs, broke all my right ribs, concussion, ACL, MCL in my right leg, deep vein thrombosis, and had my left leg amputated. Did you say you lost your leg in a motorcycle accident? Yeah. What are we doing today? Riding motorcycles. Why are you still riding a motorcycle? What, like? Well, that's the interesting thing is like, for me, it's sort of like walking and talking. Like if you got into a bad car wreck, most likely you're still gonna drive. I don't know. Have, can we please just go ride the bikes now? Absolutely. The motorcycles. We just have to go get you into some proper gear. Right, am I gonna look really cool? I think you're gonna love this. 
What's up, dude? Jeremy. Jeremy. Mark Yen. Nice Good to meet you, you Mark Yen. I want them to try stuff on real quick before they start doing stuff. Is there any equipment here that will prevent leg loss? There is nothing in the world that will prevent leg loss if your leg is meant to be lost. <laughs> this is a DuPont Kevlar technology wow. designed to save you when you hit the ground. So I'm gonna let you try these on. Nice. Wow. Feels super cool. Thing. This is the dangerous thing we're doing. Hey. Yes, I know. Stop reminding me. This is the moment. We're here. We're about to go on the ride, and I'm super stoked. But just tell me how does it all work? Let me show you how it works on my buddy's bike. So you got a shifter on the left side. It's down is down, up is up. But I don't have an ankle that moves. So I can do down, but look it, I can't. If I'm this way, I can't I can't do up. Let me show you how it works on my bike. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're about to find out. Make sure to subscribe. Here we go. This is an electronic shifter that I have with a thumb operation up here. And look at Oh. Wait, hold up. What, what's going on here? Wait, so you added this to your bike? And I it's like added a... this whole new system to my bike. What are you doing? You're... So I'm going. Which is then affecting. The shifter which you would normally put his foot underneath and yeah. lift up or push oh. down. And I, and I can't, because look it, that's it. There's nothing, I have no movement. I can't make it do anything. So that explains a lot. Wow. But I want to ride. Wait, let's see your feet. You still have the legs? They work! 